talk about crazy off seasons in uh, New England. A lot of people, as this off season began, didn't think Tom Brady would ever leave uh, New England. Uh, what's that been like uh, uh, as you do your virtual off season without Tom Brady in the room? Yeah, yeah, a little different for sure. I would say, um, you know, he's he's been the face of that team for a while. Um, you know, I learned so much from Tom. I have so much respect for him and just his approach and the way he played the game. And so, um, you know, just, you know, wishing the best of luck for him, excited for him in the future. And uh, it's kind of a new era of Patriot football. Um, you know, we just signed Cam, of course. And, uh, of course, we have Jared Stidham at quarterback as well. So uh, looking forward to seeing what we can do there. What is the big thing being around Tom Brady for three years that sets him apart? Oh, man. Um, I would say his preparation and just his mindset. Um, every single day um, he's coming into work. His expectation level for himself and for his teammates is super high. And he knows what it takes to win. And I think that's what I learned from him is how to do whatever you can to reach that level. In the news of this past week, as you alluded to, Cam Newton, now a member of the New England Patriots. A lot of people interested in seeing what Josh McDaniels can do with Cam Newton's talents and his run pass ability at quarterback. Yeah, absolutely. He's been, you know, he's been MVP before, a tremendous player. Um, I didn't realize how big he was until we I first played him. Um, you know, he's a he's a tall guy, um, and he can do a lot of things. Very versatile. Um, and with our offense, it's always great to have versatile guys. So looking forward to seeing what he can do for sure. What, what's the big concern now is uh, all NFL teams, the vets will report on July 28th. Uh, what, what are you thinking about as, as that date approaches now? Yeah, so just, you know, really seeing, um, you know, if that's truly going to stick, I guess, is the, the concern. And, um, you know, if games, how they're going to be played, fans in the stand and all that. And um, really just comes down to what we control, uh, can't control, and um, just being ready for whenever we need to be there. Um, you know, a lot of things can change, a lot of things can happen, um, but we just got to stay ready. All right, let's talk about the Team Jack trifecta. Of course, originally uh, scheduled for March and due to the coronavirus uh, pandemic, it's now gone virtual July 18th, uh, 11th through the 18th. Uh, and uh, I know you're excited about it, and it, uh, it's a great cause, of course. Yeah, we are. It uh, definitely looks a little different this year. Uh, like you said, we're going virtual, um, but with that, we're excited that it can reach out to ac all across the country and not just um, here in Texas. So we've had registrants from California, Florida, of course, up in Boston. So, um, yeah, we're excited. Um, you know, we have our 5K. We had to switch up our – a three-on-three -three, uh, competitive adult tourney to a free throw contest now this year. Um, and then our football camp, we actually recorded some drills for kids to watch and kind of replicate on their own and send in videos so we can critique. So um, we're definitely excited, um, you know, still just trying to raise as much money as we can for pediatric brain cancer uh, just because there's so much more that needs to be done. Tell us about uh, Jack Hoffman and your relationship with Jack going back to, to your days uh, at Nebraska, of course, at that time, what he was, he was uh, six or seven years old, cancer patient, and uh, the Team Jack Foundation benefits pediatric brain cancer research, right? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's crazy. That was in 2011 when we had first met. You know, it's great. We still keep in touch. He comes up for games. We go to Red Sox games because he does a, does a lot of checkups up in Boston. And, um, you know, it's cool. He played tackle football for the first time last year, which was a big milestone for him and something he was pumped out about. What, what have you learned uh, from your relationship with Jack? Going back uh, to your time at Nebraska, and he, he was, a, he was a, a cancer patient, just wanted to meet uh, Rex Burkhead, the star running back uh, for his favorite team, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. But your relationship has evolved over the years where you're really good friends. What have you, what have you learned from Jack? Yeah, just seeing how much he enjoys life, even though he knows what he's battling and has battled for this long. Um, just that strength that he has and his mindset, it's, it's pretty unbelievable to see his kid that age, um, you know, go through life with as much joy and, hey, I'm going to live this day, you know, like it's my last no matter what. And so um, I've really learned that from him. Um, he's, a, you know, kind of an idol for me, even though he's a few years younger than me. Um, but he definitely gives strength to not only myself, but a lot of people that have, you know, known about Team Jack for years. 
What about the future for Rex Burkhead? Here you are, you're not that 30 is old, but <laughs> beyond your football career, is there coaching in Rex Burkhead's future? Uh, possibly. We'll see. We'll see. I've always enjoyed, um, you know, mentoring younger kids, uh, teaching them things I've learned from the game of football. Um, it's definitely been a passion of mine, um, you know, not only with – football and position stuff, but I, I've loved the strength and conditioning side as well and just uh, the sports performance aspect. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, you know, hopefully I got a few more years uh, left going on. I feel good. So, um, but you never know. What level do you think you would like to coach at? I, I don't know. I, I do enjoy high school um, just because you have that connection with the kids. You see them develop from a young age. You can develop them a ton as people as well. Um, you know, of course, the NFL, there's a lot of variables um, involved in colleges. You know, there's a little bit of that too, uh, but there's just something unique about Friday, Friday Night Lights and, uh, you know, high school football.